Hello everyone and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing Lurk. Now, Lurk is meant to be a first-person adventure with a bit of a medieval fantasy twist. I'll be playing as one of many mercenaries who are ambushed by some sort of demonic force, and as the sole survivor after the attack, it is my job to find out what killed my men, and if possible, avenge them as well. It looks really interesting, I've seen a little bit of the gameplay before, this should be a lot of fun. Now, uh, the developer was actually kind enough to give me a copy of this game for myself, but if you want to buy and download this, I'll leave the link down below in the description where you can do that, alright? I think it's uh, roughly 7 or $8 dollars in the US, and I think just over £5 over here in the UK. Hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game of Lurk. Somewhere in the Far Lands. A band of mercenaries ride to their next job. You, Mercer, are one of these men. It is also the night of Baylor's Eclipse. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Peter, what's wrong? You're shaking. Ah, uh, it's just. Of all the nights we'd be called out to do a job, why does it have to be the night the moon turns dark? You mean the night of Baylor's moon? It isn't just an ordinary eclipse, you know. It's said that once every millennium, the moon subsides into darkness, then unleashes demonic horrors of unspeakable proportions onto the world. Come on, Parta, that's not what I need to hear right now. <laughs> what about you, Mercer? Scared as well? Mercer! Have you fallen asleep on your horse, fool? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, that was a pretty terrifying scream, and voice acting is always a plus. Based on this intro, I'm liking it so far. Let's just hope the gameplay holds up as well. Right. So maybe I was asleep on top of the horse. Maybe that's why I was spared and everyone else died. Maybe ignorance is bliss in this case. Either way, here we are. And it looks like, yeah, ahead in the fog there is some sort of light source. I guess I should probably go that way. Yeah, no sign of the, uh, the men or my horse. I guess maybe it bolted, or was eaten, or something. Anyway, yeah, let's get to that light source. I think that's actually meant to be a torch. I think there's going to be various items we need to utilize in this game. Um, let's see, look at this blood. Oh. Is that... I think I might be able to use that as well. Yeah, let's pick this up first. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Is that a note? It is. Oh, that's a weird effect. Everything's like oiled in the background and in slow-mo. Uh, and so it seems we have been trapped to suffer and die at the hands of Baylor himself. For our fallen brothers, I choose to write my last words with hope that we may be avenged. Travel north to the monastery. You will find what you must do there. Right, so I should... Oh, I've already got it. Okay, so C for the compass. There you go. So I don't have a map, but I do have a compass, and that's north. And tab for the inventory. Okay, so there's items for the torch, and there's, I think, the uh, the bottom right one is medicine. Because I think there actually is a threat in this game. And actually... Can we... Yes, that's right, okay. Uh, that's... Yep. Health tonic. And a cloth wrap to relight the torch. Fantastic, okay, so that's pretty much introduced the concepts. So it's north, is it? North to the monastery. That way. Follow the blood, essentially. Alright. Okay, so, yeah, we can run. We can jump. We can crouch. Oh, I think it's called sneak, actually, in the controls. So, yeah, I guess there's maybe an element of stealth in this game. But I think that's pretty much the extent of it. At least as far as the movement goes. And can we put... Okay, we can actually put this away. Yeah. Of course, if you're sneaking around and you've still got the torch out, it's not going to be very sneaky, is it? Right, but, uh, yeah, through the forest to the north to find the monastery. 
Oh, what? Is this it? Whoa. Uh, what the hell? What in the fuck? That's impossibly tall. This can't be the monastery, right? No, 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 no. This is something else. What have we got here? Oh, four pedestals. I don't have anything to place on the pedestal. Maybe I should find something. And this? Oh, right, okay. Yeah, that's better. So we've got four pedestals, four... Oh, no, no. Five, five pillars, it looks like. Each with something different. Oh. Yeah. I can use the uh, the pillars as well, apparently. Must be some sort of combination to it. What's that over there? Let's go take a look. Oh, it's a save point! Oh, okay. Uh, lurkers. That's what the villagers called them. They hide during the light of day and kill in the dark of night. I can't tell you the last time I went out at night without a torch after hearing that. And that's Sparta. That was the guy at the beginning, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe this is going to be a pretty vital piece of equipment, this torch. But yeah, this is certainly not the monastery. I guess I'll, um, I'll come back when i found something to put on the pedestals? You're kidding me, right? <laughs> ah, it had to be some sort of medieval fantasy and not some modern fantasy, right? Didn't have a flashlight. Well, actually, let's put it away, despite what I just read. It might actually uh, help keep it out of the rain. I do need it to uh, to read the compass, but yeah, we are heading north. So far, so good. I'm enjoying it. Gameplay is uh, nice and fluid. Controls quite nice as well. Ah, looks like a road, and that. Well, is that the monastery? Might be. The remains of one, at least. Yeah, stained glass window. I guess we're at the right place. Okay, another save point, too. I guess let's get this on. Ah, right. Anything in here? Uh, yep. Fantastic. And it's a health potion as well. Cool. What's this book about? Baylor's Eclipse. Every millennium. Terrors from an unknown dimension are summoned by the god of torment, Baylor, in order to invoke Baylor's eclipse. Once the eclipse has been conjured, Baylor will be free to unleash torment upon the mortal world as he pleases. The only way to end the eclipse is to challenge Baylor inside the dimension he resides in, and to survive whatever trials the god demands. The dimensional pillars of Baylor's shrine must be activated in order to transcend our, real our reality to another. Additionally, the four stones of Soul, Crimson, Void, and Plague must be found and placed on the shrine in order to possess enough power to challenge the god. That's it, just those two pages? Okay. That's it. So, four gems of power, four pedestals, that was Baylor's shrine to the south? I guess so. Okay. And yeah, just press tab to get that back again. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess I... I now know what I need to do. Alright, let's get all the torches on. I want as much light as possible. And as many items, I guess. Guess we should probably save again. Okay, a different quote this time. Uh, my time is short, so I'll make myself quick. There's an old monastery to the north in the Far Lands. I found out that the Soul Stone, one of the four gems of power, is still hidden atop one of the old structures there. If your company were to ever come across that place in your travels, then I'm sure you could fetch yourselves a hefty price with that gem. And that's from someone... <laughs> someone called Unknown Convict, which is a really unfortunate name. Never trustworthy. Uh, okay. Well, this is it, right? This is the monastery. So, one of those four stones that I need? What was it? Soul, Crimson, Void, and Plague. Right, of the... The soul stones around here somewhere. Up there? Up there, maybe? Right, well, yeah, let's um let's get this turned on. Nice. I guess it'll be there if anywhere. Can we climb this? Or so oh hold on. Oh shit! Ah, 
Wait, oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> oh, well, something fell down. Oh, it's like a chest. Hey, there you go. How the hell did that convict know about that? Nice. Okay, so that's one of the four. Three to go. All right, fantastic. So, um, sure. Is that it? That's as far north as we can go, it seems. Looks like it, yeah. And this place is just... Well, it's ruins. What the fuck happened here? Man, okay. Well, that was, that was pretty cool, actually. I'm kind of glad I'm saving. That was a nice clue. Right. Maybe let's not go that way. Don't really want to go northeast. But maybe let's follow this road and see where this ends up. Yeah. Yeah, let's stick to the road. And can it please stop raining? Just for a little bit. It just got heavier. Motherfuck, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> right, let's just put this out. I, I don't really need it, do I? Well, they're saying that. I have kind of lost the road. Ugh. Okay, that's not great. Yeah, let's get out of the mud. There you go, that's better. Oh, hang on. Out of the corner of my eye, there's something over there. Could be good. Let's go in. Have a little look around. Alrighty then. Let's say what, E for... Oh, it goes from red to white, and it actually gets brighter as well. But check it out, it's actually another one of these chests. This one's locked, though. Huh, alright. Oh, wow. <laughs> you wouldn't happen to have the key down there, would you? I'm not seeing any. Alright. Uh, so we're looking for a key to the chest, okay. It looks exactly like the other one. I guess there's going to be another, um, another stone. What's that down there? It's a fence. And another save point. All right. Well, let's, let's save again. I want to see if I'm going to get another clue. Was that... Oh, what the... <laughs> it's all popping out of nowhere. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's new. The Black Mire. It's not the land that's treacherous there, but what lurks underneath it. The Thresher. I've lost barrows in the Mire's mud before, but I know if I ever went back for them, then my fate would be much worse. Some random travelling merchant. Okay. The Thresher. Okay, well, I, I assume this is the mire, right? I think I did, yeah, there is like a windmill here. That's, uh, let, oh my god, oh fuck. Whoa, is that the thresher? Oh Jesus, right. Oh, come on. Ah, I, I, tell you what, yeah, put that down, put that down. Maybe this is where stealth comes in handy. Oh god, well, he, he can obviously see me. Let's hide in the trees somewhere. Right, there you go, I'm out of the mud. I think I'm actually running faster as well. Right. Ah, the music's still playing, I guess you're still chasing me. Um, well, there's, there's another save point. Wait, what's going on here? Somewhere over there. That sounds disgusting. We okay? I think we're okay. Anyway, yet another save point. Maybe another clue? I don't know. Information about the area? Let's see. The orbs themselves are imbued with transcendental properties, which upon activation trigger transitive memories that your conscious deems the most important to resurface. Those who come in contact with the orbs also recount a feeling of preservation. Mysteries of the known world. Right, so yeah, that's <laughs> explaining the saving process in the universe. That's kind of cool. Something over there. All right. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's let's check that out. I suppose as a horror game, this is probably affecting me more than many others. I I don't like being lost in a forest, you know. All right. All right. Let's see. Oh, really? Watch up from behind. There's no way inside. Can't you knock? 
<laughs> Come on. There's got to be a way inside. Oh, okay. No window. No, no, nothing. Sealed tight. All right. Oh, could I use that? Yeah. Okay. I guess if I don't have any cloths, I could just I could use that to uh to replenish the fire. Uh huh. A couple of boxes. We got. Oh, we got a bucket as well. Okay, we need a bucket for something apparently. Thank you very much. Does it tell me what to? The hell was that? Yeah, it doesn't tell me what to do with the bucket, to be honest. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, the fuck was that? I had a bit of a minor freak out then, I have to admit. I didn't know what the fuck to do. Maybe I want to go and deal with the thresher again, actually. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I don't, actually. Maybe I don't. Okay, so there's some sort of, like, mill over to the, to the east. There's a monastery to the north. What's, what's, yeah, well, let's go maybe south, let's go south, and then maybe west, see what else we find. I don't think I'm going to find anything that explicitly states where these stones are. Hey, found something. Something in there. Okay, fantastic. What's this? Oh, it's a way out. But there's more for me to do here. Right, yeah, I've got some stones to find. I've got some stones to find, and I need to find the Order of Activation back at Baylor's Shrine. I guess we should probably go there and put the gemstone in, right? There's... Oh, is that the cart where I found the torch to begin with? Yeah, I think it is. All that blood. Well, let's see. Let, yeah, let's just go to the very south. And just sort of maybe walk around the outskirts of this area, see what we find. There's something over there. Like an outhouse? Yeah. Looks like an outhouse. Alright. Don't know if I already want to be looking at this. Look at the stains. It smells like onions, apparently. Okay. What, is that a Shrek reference? That looks like the outhouse from... Yeah, Shrek. I think that's a Shrek reference. <laughs> For the fucking games to find one in. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's continue. Just yeah, let's continue along the outskirts, and maybe we can find a, a reference to something else, some other animation. Who knows? I keep hearing odd sounds in the distance, and I'm not sure which are just sound effects and which are actual threats. The thresher, that was a threat. That thing. Was that the, was that a lurker then? That could have been a lurker. That that seemed like a threat. Okay, what have we got up here? Alright, we're going into the mountains, I guess? Oh, no! Oh, it's another way out. Right, I suppose this is the way we came, isn't it? Yeah. Still, yeah, let's just follow the outskirts and see what we find. We've definitely got something here. Nice. What the hell was that? I think I, I think I just heard something. And what the fuck? It, yeah, I did. Th what in the hell is going on with the fucking compass as well? Put that out. Right. I think there's something. There's something in the rock somewhere. I don't know. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Well, there's something over here. Let's yeah, let's go over here. <laughs> Another torch. Pretty happy with that. What's that? Is that a sword? I have a sword. I I have a bucket and a sword. What the fuck do I do with this? Damned royalty. Cursed them to hell. Half of my men lost in that dead bastard cemetery. All for what? Some jewel that doesn't exist? Whatever the case, this broken sword's purpose certainly wasn't the key to the Lord's treasure. For those foolish enough to look for this gem, you'll only get yourself killed for a lie. And that's Tim Mud, apparently, okay. I think I'm going to want this jewel. Some sort of cemetery. Key to the Lord's treasure. I like this. I guess I'm looking for a cemetery? Okay. 
Return. Oh, there's burial grounds to the north, apparently. Okay. I don't think I saw those. I just realised that the uh, the red text actually does change. I guess in relation to you. So you always know which way to head to get to that point. I, I guess I like that. I don't know. Let's light this up as well. Oh, no, I'm going to want that. I'm kind of curious though. I want to see what's through this, this rock formation. It seems to be confusing the compass like hell. If I hear anything, or I see anything, or I get chased, I'm going there. I'm going back to the light. I don't... Right, I'm going back real quick. Oh. Did I just see something go past those rocks? Genuinely not sure, but I'm kind of curious. I don't think it saw me. Still, yeah. Magnetic rocks, I guess. There's something down there. Right? What's this? Okay, I just keep finding random items. What was that, a torch? Wait, is that a note? Hold on. How long has it been since I lost Arthur? Two hours? Two days? I've lost track of time since entering the crags, and now I can't tell what's real or not anymore. Were those things that came after me just a dream? Or could they have been real too? Have I lost my mind here in the crags of elsewhere? <laughs> well, it sounds like it, to be honest. The entrance back to the forest isn't actually that far away. Oh, fuck. Shit. Let's get the hell out of here. Right. No, they're very real. They're ah! Jesus Christ, something saw me. Something definitely saw me. Right, back in there, back in there, come on, come on, come on. Where? What the fuck was that? Genuinely? Ah, fuck. Right. Let's see. Through here? See if I can confuse the line of sight. I don't know where I'm getting chased from, really. It might be that guy that was in the rocks. I don't fucking know. Right, yeah, uh... I guess the area is not too big. We're never too far away from Baylor's shrine. Ah, fuck! What the hell is going on? What was that for? Right. Since I'm here, since I'm here, let's let's see if we can deal with this. Let's put the gemstone back where it needs to go, wherever it needs to go. What are these for? Which one? Yeah, maybe that one. It was like something big's coming, you know? Something very big. It, it might actually be time to save. <laughs> nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, okay. I guess he's just been, like, waddling after me this entire time. Which way am I going? Am I going north again? Pretty much. Okay, I, I know there's a monastery to the north. What does it say? Yeah, there's it a... Oh. Ah, Jesus Christ! Okay. I guess you're still following me. You're still keeping me in line of sight. Okay, well, there's another save point. I'm gonna use it. Something new, yeah. Lord Stockis of the Firelands entrusted cadavers to protect his burial from grave robbers at the time before his passing. Cadavers serve as guardians of the deceased and harness demonic powers used to break down those who tamper with the corpse of whom they protect psychologically. History of the Farlands. This is it, isn't it? This is what I'm looking for. This this cemetery. This is the burial ground as men it mentions. Yep, must be. I just want to camp out here. I don't know if that guy's still chasing me. He's fucking persistent if he is. I think we're probably okay. And I think this is kind of the extent of how far we can go as well. So, right. I did pass by an entrance. Let's take a look in here, shall we? Yeah, the compass is definitely working again. Right. What's that? 
three N E. Okay. This looks important. This looks very important, actually. Oh, that's where the sword goes. Ah, got you. Complete the trial in the burial grounds. Why is it so fucking foggy? Right, is it something to do with this? Could be northeast, right? What's this? Crimson under the dying sun, the outcast travels south. Beneath this scarlet sky rides the leper, whose compass now faces west. Uh, hours to days with no end in sight, moving northeast by nightfall. Bound to darkness at journey's end, the heading reads north. Right. Northeast. Northeast is like three. One, two, three, and four. Okay. So there's, I guess, a few more like that. Let's just have a look around and see if we can find any special gravestones. It's kind of hard to tell when it's fucking foggy. Right, here we go. One is west, okay. So, I've got a pen and paper, actually. One is west, okay, that's cool. Is that another one? Yes, it is. Okay. Four. That... What was that? Four is south, apparently. Okay. I have to say, this fog is really putting me on fucking edge. Oh, fuck. Did I just see something? I think I just saw something. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. If I just... Oh, fucking shit! Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, right, 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 the exit, the exit, come on, just leave, just leave, just leave. That was the whispering I was hearing? Fucking hell. Oh god, right. Right, stay the fuck away. I'm healed, right? I pressed R like a thousand times after that happened. Oh god, what am I backing into? Is that it? You move. You, like, you run when I'm not looking at you, you bastard. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well, I'm gonna need to lose you somewhere. Are you afraid of the light? I don't know. Back to the monastery. Back to the monastery. Back to sanctuary. Honestly, not sure if he's still back there, really. No, I can see him. He's roaming around. Let's just... Let's just run this way. Alright, so... This way would be back to the... The bog, the mire, right? And the thresher. <laughs> there's, there's actually quite a lot to be afraid of in this game, it seems, in this area. Uh, I think the, uh, the guy at the beginning was right. Oh, fuck, here we are. Yeah, Peter. Why the hell did we get a job today? Tonight, of all times. Right, so... I take it that if I pass the trial, if I deal with this cadaver that seems to be protecting the area, I'll get another gemstone. There's the thresher over here. I guess I have to do something over here as well, right? Let's just stay on the forest outline. I don't want to go into the bog. I don't want to go into the mire because I don't want the thresher to jump up at me. There's got to be something up with that windmill. I should try and get into the windmill, I think. That chest. Yeah, there's a lot going on right now. Right, let's do this quickly. It's around here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with the bushes that just fly up out of nowhere. I guess it protects the windmill. Come on, come on. I think I see the door, actually, as well. Here we are. Oh, again? Barb shut from behind you, bitch. What's this? Okay. Image of a spiral. I don't know if that helps me or not. Is there a way in? Probably like the other one, there's nothing, right? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh. Okay, no, no, we, we've got a, uh... Oh, this is where the bucket goes! I see, I see, okay. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I guess there's, uh, there's something in the well. Maybe a gemstone's in the well. That really didn't sound good. What was that? Was that the thresher? I'm actually not sure. I think I can just about see the roof of the well. Yeah. Through the, uh, through the thing. That was kind of weird. I think I'm actually okay. Right. Oh, okay, use it. Yeah, sure. There's got to be something down there. Oh, can you hurry up, please? Can you hurry up, please? Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Right, okay, we'll come back later, won't we? We'll come back later. Right, this is going down, and we are running across the fucking mire again. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That thing. That note that I found under the door, I think that was its face. Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, God. Oh, God damn, the stamina system. Keep running, keep running. What? Oh, right, right, right. I think when we're in the forest, we're safe. I don't think he can actually come outside. Yeah, he, he has to be in the mud. Right. We need to get back to that well. The bucket went down. It never came up. There's got to be something. There's got to be something in it. Right. I, I don't know how to trigger him coming out of the mud, to be honest. Maybe it's just bad luck. Shit. What's this? Honestly, what the fuck is this? Come on, quickly, quickly. I don't want to hang around. I don't want to be here. Come on, over we go. That's it. Just give it a couple more spins. There you go. That's it. Oh, there you go. Oh, what is it? It's not a gemstone or anything. It is a key. Where was the... There was a chest, like... Just over here with that guy buried in the mud. That was locked. Could be a key for that. Tell you what. Let's fucking save. I'm usually not so prolific with the saving in games, but I think it's definitely necessary here. There you go. Yeah, it was somewhere to the north. That's it. I see it. Alrighty. Alright. Ah. Oh. Didn't I destroy this? Oh. Maybe it respawned, I don't know. Yes, it is this! Oh, great! Okay, it's those chests I'm looking for. That's that's where we get the gemstones. And that's the fucking thresher. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's just get to the, the tree line and, and beyond. I don't know if we need to be here anymore. Right. Let me just test my theory. I'm going to be here, hiding behind a tree. I don't think he can actually get anywhere near here. It's a cool design for a monster, honestly. It's kind of Silent Hill. Yes. Yeah, fuck you. Whoa, okay, no, fuck me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> you take your Swiss roll face and fuck off. I'll do the same. Oh, please, please, we don't have to go back there again, do we? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's put the uh, the gemstone back and I don't know. Where do we go next? We need to go back to the the cemetery, right, for the for the trial. Still don't really know what to do with the stick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two down. Two to go. I suppose. And I'm gonna save. Um. Actually. Yeah, this might actually take a while, so I'm actually going to split this into maybe two or three parts. Thank you very much for watching this first part, and I hope to see you back next time in part two. See you then. Peter, what's wrong? You're shaking. 
Cool. I'll come back when I found something to put on the pedestals. You kidding me, right? Was that? Oh, what the? <laughs> that? Oh my god! Oh fuck! <laughs> Does it tell me what to? The hell was that? Yeah, it doesn't tell me what to do with the bucket, to be honest. <laughs> oh, oh fuck! The fuck was that? I think that's a Shrek reference. <laughs> For the fucking games to find one in. What does it say? Yeah, there's it a. Oh. Ah, Jesus Christ! Okay. Oh, fuck, did I just see something? I think I just saw something. I'm not entirely sure. If I just. Oh, fucking shit! Oh my god. Oh my goodness, right. Okay, we'll come back later, won't we? We'll come back later. Yes. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, okay, no, fuck me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 